Men in police custody after gun and 50 rounds of ammunition found in refrigerator. People, this one can afford to miss. People, family, viewers, subscribe. We're going to come back to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video. Hope everybody have a great night or day, people. Like the video, share it with a friend. The police are reporting the seizure of an illegal firearm and 50 rounds of ammunition in a refrigerator at the premises on Brooklyn Avenue in Kingston on Tuesday. So the police them do them thing, a search on, search on, them pounds up on an illegal firearm. 50 rounds of ammunition, 50 shot. These shot could cause at least 50 life to perish. But with the good wills of the police officers, they pounds upon this dangerous weapon, seize it, and put away people. We have more reports. Two corporate high school students have been left traumatized after being physically attacked and robbed by perpetrators believed to be teenage boys. Last week, speak with the news, the mother of one of the boys said she was extremely saddened and hoped that the attack would receive much needed intervention. So, the mother called out for more people to look into it. People. We have more reports, people. The police. Let's hear what they have to say. Uh, thank you, Stephanie, for the introduction and for taking us through the program so well. Uh, I know we still have a few items. They're actually on the back of the program uh, that you have in front of you. It continues over leaf, so we're not quite at the end yet. Um, I'm just going to use the opportunity to thank the band for being here and the people who are singing uh, today, but probably equally or more importantly, the organizers of this function. It's well organized, um, and it is at the standard that I'd expect us to deliver for the uh, children of our fallen officers. It's um, even the the, the uh, naming of the tables. Who is that, Natalie? I know. Yeah, I could see her imagination in this, to name the tables in this way. And bringing in Elaine is always a good thing for, for, for everyone. So we've gone uh, from, tried to go from strength to strength, from the first one that we did in 2018. Uh, we missed two years, is it? Two years. So we did 18, 19, then we missed 20 and 21 because of COVID. Uh, here we are back again. and. You know, it's it's really good. We have much. We have larger events that we do uh, on an annual basis, but there's probably no one, no event that's more important than this one, because um, this is an a really a an event that celebrates gratitude. Um, it celebrates uh, the lives of our officers, even though they are departed. It's a celebration of life and the dedication they had to policing and the service. And most officers, you know, when you think of the danger that they face daily, police officers, um, would still rather not be doing anything else. This is their call and vo vocation and profession. And so they do this because they have a passion for it. And so the, the, even the very dangers they face um, they go towards it willingly. Only recently had occasion to visit one of our constables who actually got shot off of a motorcycle right outside um, Central Police Station, just by East Street, corner of East Street and East Queen Street. Um, when I got to the hospital, to KPH, he had already been, he was coming out of x-ray and had been, had a bandage on his shoulder, he was sitting on a chair. So I sat in a chair in front of him, you know, and we, was, we were speaking. And he said, you know, the only thing, you know, Chief, I want to hit the road again. I need, I need to be out of here. I don't, you know, it's a pity that they actually winged me um, and that I didn't get them because that was his thing. He needs to get up and he needs to get back out there. And that is a, a constant theme. I left there, went upstairs uh, to a room that we have at KPH. Another one of our quick response officers was there who had been injured in an accident. 
And he, the thing he wanted to know from the doctors is, when can I get back onto my bike? Because my team is there and waiting on me. And it's a feature of, of this kind of life. You, get, um, you spend so much time with your colleagues and at work that you end up with these two families that Stephanie spoke about, you know, the, the home family and the work family, you know. And as, you know, as I sort of welcome you and greet you here uh, on behalf of the JCF, I have to thank every one of you children, spouses of persons who have fallen. I thank you on behalf of a grateful force. And I'd say also a grateful country uh, for lending your um, significant person to us. We know how hard it is, even without it coming to this, this finality, but just the day-to-day -day difficulty of watching your father, your mother, your spouse head out into danger and as I said most of them would not be happy doing anything else. That's who they are and that's what they want to do. And when you are doing what you want to do and you are happy with what you are doing, um, then the reward of that, the reward of the sacrifice that you make um, informs you as a person. So, as I say, it's a time uh, to really celebrate our, um, our those who have fallen, but also to celebrate the lives left behind and assure you all that, you know, even the attachment to the JCF remains strong. We will be interested in you, not just today, but interested in, especially the youngsters, how you grow up and you know what you want to do. It's a great thing to have this many aunties and uncles. You know, we have a force of, um, well, when including uh, our civilian work staff, about 15 and a half thousand. That's a lot of aunts and uncles. So we are here for you. Um, and as you grow, there may be occasion for you to call on us to, if you have problems, there's always someone here that you can reach out to. And pretty much, there's not a whole lot that we can't fix if we really want to, or if we want to put our minds to it. And if we can't, we usually know somebody who can. And so it's important that I signal to you that that is our commitment. Our commitment isn't just for the time uh, someone is on the job, uh, doing the work, as a police officer, our commitment is beyond that to the family whilst they are serving and beyond. So that is our commitment as a police force to you. And this event is representative of that. And so I hope you enjoyed it. It's, I like the mood. It seems to be pretty lively. And I don't want it to be overly solemn. Um, because as I say we're celebrating so I'm glad that you got a chance to dance and enjoy listen to some great great music both from our own JCF team but also from Elaine and you know I'm sure we'll get opportunities to meet in somewhere or another again between you who are here at this luncheon and the remainder of the JCF so God bless you all and we will continue with the program